And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink you all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Ready? That's the symbols. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So Christ is going to keep the Passover either illegally and unlawfully on Abib 1 or he's going to do it on Abib 15. We read this on the 14th because Christ had to die and Christ died almost exactly when the 15th came. When the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. He said to them, With desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not eat any, I will not any more eat thereof, which has to be the Passover, until it, which has to be the Passover, till it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Now, if you're under the impression that, you know, you okay, the beginning of the year is Abib 1, that's what you shoot for. But are we looking here at evidence that the three months ends in the middle of Abib versus the beginning of it? Now, it wouldn't change the timing of what we're looking for, particularly if it's Sabbat 1, that won't change. But does God add a little bit to make it an acceptable year? Because I'm telling you, based on these verses, and we're just warming up, and we're going to sprint through a bunch more, I am telling you, absolutely, inarguably, that the Passover Christ is going to take is either going to be an illegal Passover in front of all human beings who ever lived, setting a horrific example for the next 1,007 years for all other people who will take it at the right time, or this is talking about Abib 15. So, can Christ keep the Passover when it's not the Passover? Is a question that fell from view. It would break the law. He would be keeping a night to be much observed two weeks early. You can't do it two days early or two days late. In fact, the 15th is so important that if you miss it, you wait till the 15th of the next month, not the next available opportunity in your schedule. God drives home in two different ways. The Passover must be taken at the 15th. As I said, never mind the horrible example it would set, besides being unlawful. How can all people hear for 1,000 plus years that Christ kept the Passover on the wrong date? Impossible. Four. So when I come, they will take the symbols with Christ again. And that sort of suggests in 1 Corinthians eleven twenty six 26 that the symbols will come very close to the 14th. Church always understood Christ died on the 14th because he was going to be on the stake and dead and in the grave by the 15th. So the church always took it as a shadow of what would be the great feast that's coming. Passover is a Sunday, start of a week in 2025, April 13th. That's what it would be. It's a Sunday. Therefore, every year till earth is gone, would start with the Passover for seven days. The millennium would start with it. The Jews set a place for Elijah on Passover. And they say next year in Jerusalem is tied to this. Why? I, I thought to myself, what am I missing? My last name is Passover. My name isn't David Abib 1. And I'm trying to figure out why would God give me the name Passover if it's Abib 1? Well, it isn't Abib 1.
What an unbelievable contrast. And I'm going to tell you, this list is ironclad. There's no shifting it anymore. Or Christ's first great act is to break the law of God and blaspheme the Passover, virtually slander his own day. It's called his day. Of course it's his day. The Lamb of God is revealed on the Passover. For him to do that any other day, I don't care if we waited 10 more years or I died in the faith, I'll never move off of that day. I'm no longer haunted, and I feel good that I've been able to tell all of the brethren, we are waiting for Abib 15 next year for the second kingdom. So I'm, I'm just going to say again, you cannot sit there and argue that 1,007 years till earth is gone will all begin on Abib 15. That's impossible to argue. Or we serve an unlawful, disobedient Savior, and God will let him get away with it.